All right, so we're gonna be looking at how to play John Mayer's Neon. So it's got this interesting right hand strumming pattern. We throw in some bass notes. And a melody. So this video is going to be split into two parts. So I'm going to assume that you know the left hand shapes for this song. If you don't know the left hand shapes, there are plenty of tutorials online. There are plenty of uh, tabs you can look up. Um, but I'm going to assume you know how to do the left hand. The point of this video is more so going to be the right hand technique and the rhythm of the song. So uh, two parts. The first part is going to be the actual notes that we're playing with the right hand. And the second part is going to be uh, sort of what worked for me when I was learning this song um, to learn how to get the right hand technique down. So as for uh, the actual notes that we're playing, um, to do this I'm just going to grab some chord and uh, we're going to start off by um, plucking the, it's sort of a slap, slap and pluck of the low E string. So to do that I I'm sort of just taking my thumb and slapping the low E string and then it comes and rests on the A string. It's like that. And then after that, we come up on the D string with our uh, index finger, so. Okay, once we got that, we do another thumb pluck um, on the G string. So like this. up on the uh, B string with our index finger. Like that. Okay, and once we do that, we uh, slap the low E string with our thumb and keep our thumb rested there. It's gonna be important to keep your thumb rested there. We're not playing a note, we're just slapping it. So slap and keep your thumb there. So again, from the top slowly, we got And again, um, our next one is going to be an up string, up pluck with our index finger on the on the D string. So, so from the top we got cool. After that, once we have our thumb still rested on the E string, we just pluck the note like that. There's no slapping; it's just a pluck. So from the top. Once we do that pluck, it's another pluck on the uh, D string with our index finger. So from the top we have... And once we have that sequence of slaps and plucks down, that's the entire melody of the song. That's all there is to it. All right, part two, what worked for me when I was learning this song? Um, so when I was learning this song, when I first uh, started trying to play this, I couldn't play this, uh, this technique very accurately. I was sort of slapping all these wrong notes and it sounded like a mess. Um, but I would say that actually just getting this, this right hand shape and making these, uh, these random, sort of random up and down movements with my with my right hand sort of kind of trying to pluck the right strings but I was never really getting them right I was just sort of it was this messy like up and down sort of uh, garbage motion um, but honestly I think that that helped me learn the song a lot so what I was basically doing is I was getting the left hand and um, I was not really strumming correctly on the right hand it was sort of sounded like a mess, but over time I was able to sort of pick up what hand motions worked 
and this was all, it wasn't like something that I was thinking about deliberately. It was more so like just going on in the back of my mind. Um, oh, like this, this hand motion works and it sort of slaps the string in the right way and makes the sound that I want to hear. So that's going to be reinforced. And um, over time, uh, I, I definitely was able to pick up like um, which hand motions worked for me. But honestly, when I was starting out, I was just, I had my hand in this shape because that's what I saw. That's what I saw people do in videos. And I was just going up and down, up and down and slapping and um, trying to pluck notes, but it was never a really clean sound. So it sounded, it sounded a bit like this. Like you could kind of hear the melody in there, but there's all this extra junk that's going on. Um, but over time, like I said, um, it, the, the, the precision sort of came out. I was able to, to get those right, right notes in. Well, that's all I got. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, share this video if you found it helpful. Uh, drop me an email in the, my email's in the description if you have any questions. Uh, this song is so much fun to play. Once you get it down, you can sort of experiment with different grooves. Um, you can throw some swing in there. You can sort of exaggerate some notes. You can go uh, soft and quiet and soft to quiet. Um, it's just, it's a total kick in the pants to play. So um, definitely it takes time. It takes effort. You're not going to be able to pick this up on the first day. Um, if you somehow manage to, congratulations. That's amazing. But it took me uh, several months to get this song down. Um, but I can tell you it was well worth it. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Have a great day.